All right, time for another solo overnight in the woods. Looking at high of 85, low of 65, 50% humidity, so we're getting a break. And we're gonna have a good time out here in the woods. Now, last week we did something different. We did bushcraft technology. It was titled Solo Overnight Building a Bushcraft Shelter and Melting Aluminum in the Woods. We went out here, we made a frog gig out of the earth. We cast some molten aluminum against a clay flask in the ground, and it worked out well. And we secured some food. Now today I want to piggyback that and go for a jump in the evolutionary chain to the Bronze Age. Stick with me. Okay, so here we are. We're back at the scene of the crime. And yes, this is the same spot from last week. People are triggered AF. We have an open area right here for a shelter and a pre-dug fire pit. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I want to go ahead and get rid of the hard stuff first. This will be a bushcraft technology video. And like I said, I want to go ahead and try to get us to the Bronze Age. I want to cast a bronze knife in a fire pit. Normally I use a foundry and I have several videos showing this. This would be a challenge. I guarantee there's going to be failures along the way. Just bear with me. Let's get her done. Now that's a rager. Okay, so the trick right here is to get that fire pit or that meteor crater up to around 2100 degrees. Most fire pits will never reach that. Copper melts around 1900. Now, I have a cast iron ladle and I'm hoping that bad boy doesn't crack. And if we're lucky, we can start melting that copper without a blower and that'd be a major accomplishment. So being out in the woods, being Minecrafty and collecting that coal earlier, adding it to our wood, inside that major depression or crater for our fire pit, I think that fire and that heat is gonna circulate around that bad boy and it might work. Tell you what, it is hot AF. I'm talking about 10th level of hell. 
Okay, so I went ahead and collected some sand and some clay. Last time we tried this, we only used clay and the aluminum was way too hot and there was way too much moisture inside that clay. So I went and split the difference, 50-50 ratio, sand and clay. I'm hoping it will dry it up a little bit. And this time we're gonna go with a single flask. I'm not gonna pour against the earth. I'm gonna pour it into a flask or into a mold. So let's go ahead and set that bad boy up. For those that missed my last video, I'll do a quick recap on how to make a frame or a flask and then we'll get to it. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One of my Amazon Influencer page and two of my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Okay, so just like last time when we cast our aluminum ingot, I'm going to show you my failures. But just like last time, I'm going to turn my failures into success. I have several videos showing casting different materials, um, copper and bronze and aluminum, making knives and axe heads. That's all on YouTube. Just Google Corporal's Corner Foundry or Corporal's Corner Casting, and you're going to find those. Now, I use this cast iron ladle, and the fire got so hot combined with the coals, the fat wood, the pine, and the hard oak that I put on there, it was so hot, it actually melted this cast iron, and I lost my copper, so I had to start over. Luckily, I thought of plan B. I brought out my clay crucible, so I cut that bad boy down, used half of it for a shield across the top of it, and slammed it in there. So I'll show you that right now, and we'll use plan B and get her done. Okay, so making bronze, it's simple, yet it's not. I gotta bring that campfire up to 1900 degrees to melt that copper. Then I have to toss in between 15 and 20% tin or pewter. And that's the real trick. How do I know it's 15 to 20%? I don't, I'm gonna have to guess. So I have a piece of pewter. Once we melt that copper, I'm gonna toss that bad boy in and hope that it works. Okay, so in my opinion, I am way happier with this than our aluminum ingot that we cast last time. This bronze is a lot more controlled and 
I noticed it didn't bubble up. This side stuff here, the overspill, to break that off, you can actually see that it resembles a knife. So using my hacksaw and my file, I can scrape all this off, get my actual rough design. I have a three quarter tang right here, and then I can just embed that into some handles and tie it off, say like a whipping on a rope. Okay, so that's a two hour nightmare that you don't want. But having something like this is outstanding. So if you check it out, it's pretty close to the template. And that aggressive file than the finer one that I have actually took off the material. It's a little bit shorter, but we're in the ballpark. So I'm liking it. Okay, so far so good, we're looking outstanding. Went ahead and glued this bad boy up and then I tied a series of arbor knots just to kind of sandwich it together. I don't have any clamps, so we're gonna make do. Bushcraft zip ties, the arbor knot. Okay, so I'm thinking shelter time. Just like last week's video, we did things backwards. Now, I promise you this, next week we're going back to our builds. I wanna knock out these two bushcraft technology videos and just see what was possible because it's been bothering me for several years. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. Shelter time and some chow. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone and download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
Okay, so it's been about six hours. I'm touching the glue, it's pretty much hardened up. It's not soft at all. I'm gonna go ahead and carve this bad boy down a good eighth inch or so all the way around. And then I'm going to add number 12 bank line, wrap it all the way around and pull it tight to give it that added grip when I use it. And I think we'll be good to go. just like that.
Look at that. Ribeye, potatoes, bacon, onions, and cheese. Of course, cooked in bacon grease. That piece of steak right there, that ribeye steak. Mm. Oh my god. Melts like butter. Right now, somebody's sitting home triggered AF. He's saying, mm, the food is good. I can't take it. Well, guess what? Eating this, I can't take it. I'll meet this entire serving. Catch y'all in a few. Mm. That chow hit the spot, but to be honest, all I'm thinking about is this knife right here. Um, this video, to me, the highlight was this knife. Um, I'm happy with this. So we'll talk about the knife and the shelter in the morning, but just want to get that out of the way. So I'm happy AF. Not a lot going on tonight, um, except for the fact that we casted bronze in the field. So, welcome to the Bronze Age. Right now it's 10:05 uh, p.m., so I'm gonna hit the rack because tomorrow I got a class of 20 coming to the Pathfinder School for an intermediate survival class. It involves bow drill and all kinds of cool stuff. So, um, with that, I'm gonna say thank you all my old subs, all my new subs for sticking around and taking a chance on me. Uh, I love you guys more than anything. Without you, I am nothing, and I appreciate every single one of you and all the support you've given me. Thank you very much. Just keep doing what you're doing. Watch my videos all the way in. Share them with everyone everywhere. Show YouTube you want Corporal's Corner, and I'm going to give you Corporal's Corner. You can take that to the bank. Catch you all in the morning. Zero early, hell nah. Oh man. Do what? Coffee time. Dunkin' Donuts, baby. Always outstanding. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this shelter. Nothing special. We used a shear lash or a bipod lash to create two bipods, attached some side ribs, created a skeletal structure, tossed our 8x8 Silni Pathfinder hammock tarp over it, staked it down. Inside, we took our emergency 5x7 blanket, tossed it down for a ground cloth. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One and done. I'm happy with this. It's sturdy enough and you can sleep in this thing for days, if not weeks. So I'm happy with that. Okay, time for the crown jewel of this video, this bronze knife. Now, here's the truth. It will be virtually impossible to cast bronze anything or melt copper in a regular fire pit. Here's what I did. We dug a pit about 18 inches deep and about two foot across. Packed that bad boy with Minecrafty coal from the earth. Chunks, about that big fat wood on top of it. We're not talking fat wood sticks. We're talking chunks of fat wood from the, the roots of the tree, dripping with fat wood, hard woods on top of that, oak, hickory, and I believe some maple was on top of that, and then covered that with pine on top of that. And that thing was so hot, our fail number one was our cast iron crucible. We melted it and lost all the copper, had to start over. We started over with a clay crucible and repacked it, put wood on top of that, and that thing was so hot it turned orange and it melted, it worked. Um, but we're talking five to six hours to get that up to temp. A blower would make it faster, but I didn't have one. So keep that in mind. But does it work? Is this old world, bronze age, bush crafty technology? Yes, it is. And I'm happy with it. So 
next week we're going back to our builds and then we'll throw in an occasional bushcraft technology video. More to come. And there you go, still overnight building a bushcraft camp and Bronze Age knife in the woods. Once again, sometimes I impress myself. More outstanding things to come, stick with me. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Okay, wow, we're still here. Okay, check this out. The 8x8 Silni tarp featured in this video that's on my framed out shelter. It's available at Self Alliance Outfitters. The link is inside my description box. Check that bad boy out.